everybody, we're playing Warframe. Just got myself a primed mod reward, 400 milestone, that's pretty cool. Pick up Messages the primed fury. So today we're going to take a look at uh, the Jupiter New Gas City tile set and uh, the parkour challenges that it presents. So any of the maps here on Jupiter use this new tile set. And uh, the parkour challenges can be pretty challenging if you're new to the game. So room one, this room I'm calling the generator room. I don't know if it has a real name, but uh, that's what I'm calling it. Um, so you can get across these rooms with the scuff marks here, which show that you can do some wall running across here. Anywhere where you see these scuff marks, and they're usually coupled with those flashing lights. Where you can just uh, bullet jump and glide. And you can wall climb up the grill at the end. So jump high and glide across by holding the right mouse button. And if you fall short you can double jump and you can just uh, wall climb up that grill at the end there. So look for those scuff marks around the place for wall running and uh, wall climbing. Now let's go down this other side. On the other side of this room you can uh, bullet jump across to this little alcove here. And you can bullet jump across to this generator. And then across to the next alcove. And just work your way across. Into the generator. You can see the scuff marks on the wall there. Or you can just bullet jump across, it's not too far. But you can wall run across here. And wall run back the other way. That's your choice. Okay, you can just bullet jump all the way across onto this generator bridge. And then through to here. Jump high, glide across by holding the right mouse button. Again, jump high, hold the right mouse button, glide across. Now on this side of the room, the scuff marks on the wall there, so you can climb up there. You can also just bullet jump right across onto this little ledge here. And then going back the other way, bullet jump high glide across. Not too hard with a little bit of practice. And you can just uh, jump down to this section here and then wall climb back up onto this ledge and then jump across. Go back. Now if you're falling short you can double jump, get a bit of extra distance. Even when you're gliding you can still double jump. Now this jump here is very very long, so you can do it. it takes a bit of practice. Jump high, glide, and then do a double jump, glide. And you can get across there. Okay, the second room. This room I'm calling the broken dock, because it looks like a docking area. 
So here you've got some broken bridges and you've got um, some tight ropes or steel ropes going across the bottom there and they go all the way across to the other side of the rim up the top there so you can get all the way across there um, the other alternative is there's a rope above you see the tight rope above you this takes you to the top platform Or you can just bullet jump up onto that broken bridge up there. So you've got a few options here. So you can see up the top there there's some crossbars that you can jump and latch onto with the X key. So you can traverse across that top section with uh, some bullet jumping and latching onto those crossbars by pressing X. Let's try this rope here. Press X, latch onto the rope. And then we can uh, use these crossbars to get across, or you can just glide, jump and glide. Let's use the crossbars. Press X. And they're pretty forgiving too, so if you're even slightly out you can still latch onto them. And then you can just walk across this tightrope, across to this uh, top section here. Thanks Lettuce. <laughs> so once you're in this top room you can just glide back down, bullet jump and glide. Let's use this tightrope again, go across here. Get back to these crossbars over here. Jump and latch. So from here you can you can actually bullet jump and glide across there pretty easily. And vice versa. There's a platform above us here too. We can jump onto the platform above. You can just walk across here, get access to some of these tight ropes. So you've got a lot of different options in this room. You can jump towards any uh, tight rope and hit X anywhere in this map so you can see a rope that gives you access you can just uh, bullet jump towards it hit the X key and latch onto it can't quite make it to that top platform from over there and going this way you can just run and jump across pretty easy Going down that way is pretty easy. Just getting back up the other way is a bit trickier. Let's check out this uh, tight rope down the bottom here, which goes all the way across. Probably not the quickest way to do it. It's quite time consuming, but you know, get to see the lovely sights of the New Gas City. Take in some of the scenery. Kind of a guaranteed easy way to get across. I wouldn't recommend that, of course. Okay, this is the way I would normally do it just glide across. And from here, just glide across again. Pretty simple with a bit of practice. Going the other way, just jump and glide, this is the way I would normally do it. Just using jump and glide. And to get to that 
top room. Just uh, another bullet jump. Glide. And that's it. Let's move on. On to room number three. This room I'm calling the reactor room. So uh, you just jump across with a bullet jump, pretty easy. You'll notice there are also elevators in this room, because this room's quite high and tall. So sometimes the exit is above you and you have to you have to use the elevator to get up. In this case the exit is down below, so it's quite easy, you just jump down. You can hit the right mouse button and glide down. And then you're there. You see there's tight wraps around the place as well you can make use of. There's some little sections here where you have to bullet jump across. And you saw the uh, scuff marks on the wall indicating that you can do wall runs as well. And there's the elevators. So you can bullet jump and glide across these sections here without too much trouble. You can see how tall this room is. You can go up and see above as well. Okay, let's try and take one of these elevators to go up. Let's kill off these enemies. Okay, so let's take one of these elevators. You just have to uh, jump and maybe double jump if you need to. A bit of gliding. Get onto the elevator and ride it up to the various platforms above, and you can see there's various different exits on the way up, on the walls as well. So you get to this point, which is the probably the top ledge. You can just work your way around this top ledge, all the way around. And there's various uh, metal ropes, tight ropes you can pull down onto and latch onto. Ah, so here's a um, access controller, which is part of the uh, LED secret laboratories uh, puzzles in here. That's something I'll probably cover in another episode on its own. So the uh, New Gas City tile set does have these um, LLV secret laboratories that you can explore. And there are some loot in there as well that you can get hold of. So the access controller node is uh, part of it. And there are also some switches around the place. Which I can show you. Glide down. You see all the multi levels that are in this room. You can just jump down. Here's a secret lab switch right here. It's got the uh, question marks on it. So I will cover those. Here's a tightrope we can make use of. There's lots of tight ropes around in this room that you can uh, walk across, get to various places. Jump onto that tightrope, hit X to latch. 
There's some scuff marks on that wall there. So lots of options around here. And as I said before, you can just bullet jump and glide across. Let's check out this scuff mark over here, indicating you can do a wall run. Honestly though, you don't really need to because it's such a short distance, you can just jump it. But you know, these things are there if you need them. Oops, nearly fell off. <laughs> now if you fall short, you can just uh, wall climb up these grills. Not that you'll really need it in these short sections. Okay, here's LRV's secret lab door entrance with the funky symbols on it. So next we have these door scanners. The high door scanners like that one, you can just uh, hit the control key and you can slide under. So run and slide. So the door scanners are just uh, like um, laser fields. If they get activated, they activate a trap. It's usually like toxic damage. Here's what happens if you go through one. You activate the toxic trap. So you can see I've taken toxic damage in the top row. Here's another one with a below door scanner. You can just bullet jump up over it. There's a side scanner. Which will block one side of the doorway. Here's another below door scanner, so you have to bullet jump up above it. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, room number four. This one I'm calling turbine tubes. Obviously, because it's got turbines and tubes. <laughs> so in this room there's a little switch here. Let's get rid of these enemies. So you hit the switch over here and it unlocks the door and stops the turbines. And then you can climb into these tubes. And you can find uh, loot boxes and so on. So you can get into this tube through here. Destroy the broken grate. Shoot through the turbines. down here. And some loot boxes. Ah, oh, star. Nice. Don't think there's really much else here other than that. And a lovely uh, map design. Okay, moving on. Here we have room 5, which I'm calling the uh, broken bridge. It looks like a bridge section that's been destroyed. Now you'll see uh, there's crossbars across the top there we can use. There are some scuff marks on that uh, round wall. Just use these crossbars as well. Get across here. Just jump and glide. Press X to latch on. And then 
jump down onto the final bridge section. That's one way to do it. Coming back at it from the other direction, you can uh, jump across these bridge sections. Jump high and glide. Oh, nearly fell off. <laughs> Getting up into this one's a bit tricky. No, missed. You can all run up here. All climb. You can also, of course, just um, jump and glide across like this. Now if you jump onto this uh, bridge part here and you manage to fall below you can jump onto these crossbars down here. There's also a rope down there you can latch onto as well if you manage to fall down this far. Now if you do end up down here you can use this rope to walk your way back. And I'll show you how to get back up. Take in a bit more of the scenery. So you can wall run across here, then you can hold the right mouse button to wall latch, and the wall latch lets you hang onto the wall. Then you can jump across to these antenna and press X, latch onto the antennas. see this uh, reactor tube here. You can actually uh, wall climb up the reactor tube. Let's give that a try. You can see the bridges are above us. So let's do a wall climb up here. Then you have to hold the right mouse button and latch again. Do a wall latch and then jump onto this wall which has got the scuff marks indicating that you can wall run up. Let's go back down there and try again. Okay, let's uh, wall run up the tube again. jump across to the wall climb over here and there you have it now going back the other way this is the way I would normally do it normally just uh, do a high jump and glide and then high jump and glide onto this crossbar and then onto the top bridge section back the other way I would jump and glide onto this second piece of bridge. Jump and glide onto the next piece of bridge. And then jump across. That's the way I'd normally do it. Okay, finally we have the Roper Lolas fight. The end parkour on the Roper Lolas fight is a little bit challenging for new players. So here you want to jump and glide across and then you want to aim and hit the E, the melee key, which targets the area and pulls you in. Wait for the uh, dropping debris and then jump and glide, aim, hit the melee key. And then it takes you onto the platform. So using that melee key lets you cover a large distance very quickly. You can also use that in the gas city as well to hit targets while you're gliding. And that's the end of this episode guys, I hope you liked it, click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.